Ata matambo ya uzufe korona. Uzubu uze kwa sepepa na sosiazi. Indugu aina mzi mininye na kue lishanzi selwa. Ewe ungumshola uku inkosha uku ushashuba. Ushatu zeli sishati lopasha koko shele zingeni. U fike wa si valimpumlo ne milomo mgezi fonyo. Sati sisi sizwe sobundum wakuta zukelelua no sazbaka sibuli sana ngenu niba kuchukuti ngenyimini so gumba. Imba uzezo mkushane imvela pi ise China kusitili ihuhan ukanti ne melika iyanungwa. Ngati uzenge mwelo enempiko kanti uzo kusifakinda kasazi ibaka sifani swana nkuku zona zifalelo hokwe ni zimanu poselu mbona. Sa konto zinju ni kwa lipoli sane jone stala tuwe ni abanye babulewe ngabo mteto mungu na lusapo la kwa koza ngapa ya kumshaba uwe golide uya uzufe korona uzubuze kwa sepepa na som siyazi induku kambe a Aina mzi kui, nsa ponge, nsa pokui, mizi nge mizi, ete, ya nkongo zero angulo bubane njengo keche, wafika, watati lungu, okanye, ama lungo sapo, kunga, bungi swanga, kunga, tanda zwanga, siti nge, akushanga, lungi shio, kodwa, ya uzufe, toha, ya uzufe, koro. Lockdown loneliness. I get by for anderang and my lover. Maar, the lockdown het ons by mekaar gehou. Ons het een klein huis. En ons allemaal kon nie in gaan nie. Ons is opgeknop. Baie goed het verander. Maar die lekkerste van lockdown is. Om saam te sit en eet en praat. Ons vraag. Wat sal jy doen as corona jou kry? Ek sê, as ek moet dit kry, sal my lewe nie meer die selfde wees nie. Die drome wat ek en my ouwer zet, sal nie meer die selfde wees nie. Ek wens net ma kon nou saam met ons wees, om te sien die verandering wat ons elke dag optel. Die stilte is ons nie gewoond nie, of nie. Die oneewigheid. Ek wens net, jy kan nou by ons wees, by my, Chela en broerkie, om net te sien die verandering wat ons optel. Om ma weer vast te hou, om te hoor my kinders ek is lief vir jylle. Om jou weer te help kook. Hoekom het ek nie geweet, dit was jou laaste dag, I have never known fear, this unforgiving, unrelenting. It crushes us beneath its weight until our backs bend into unfamiliar strangers. Anxiety erodes our sense of self. And we are right to fear, to fear our neighbors, our friends, to fear our families, to fear trips outside our own doors because our enemy is invisible and moves quietly between us. It is already claimed the grandmother next door and the little boy down the road and they, they were the good ones. They wore the mask, they sanitized, they did everything right and still. We watched they drive by funerals. But if I must say that I am afraid, I must also say that I hope. I must also say that my grandmother taught me the power of the word. I must say that in this time of sorrow, this time of grief, the soft pages of her Bible kept me warm. 
If I must know fear, then I must know light. I must know that light banishes all darkness to give our little lives day. And so does hope banish grief into the corners so that our will to fight, our will to overcome rises as all good does to greet us with a new dawn and a light heart. Molweni Huyemore, good morning, Sani Bonani. I greet you all today on the 26th of March as the Nelson Mandela University community, our valued staff and students, on the eve of the first anniversary of South Africa's hard lockdown, when the coronavirus was beginning to spread across the world. None of us could have imagined then what lay ahead or how our world would be forever changed. The pandemic has changed the way we work, the way we study, how we live, and even how we now behave. It has derailed our economy, has had a massive toll on our mental well-being, and seriously impacted on our education system. It has further exposed and surfaced the many remaining challenges in the structural ar arrangements of our South African economy. Evidences abound of deepening poverty, desperate food insecurity, homelessness, gender-based violence, to name a few. In the circumstances, there has been widespread hurt, anguish, and deep loss. From something as simple as not being able to hug a friend, to visit an elderly relative, or enjoy a milestone occasion such as birthdays, weddings, and for us, graduation ceremonies. Most tragically, the coronavirus has led to a tremendous loss of life around the world, with more than 2.6 million deaths earlier this month. In South Africa, more than 50,000 people have died due to the pandemic, many of whom come from our province and our metro here in Nelson Mandela Bay. We as a university community have not been immune. Sadly, we have lost 11 staff members and one student to the pandemic. Each of these individuals who worked at different campuses and in different divisions have left a void with their colleagues, friends and families. The depth of our loss extends so much further since almost each one of us, our 3,500 staff members and 29,000 students, has been directly impacted, having unexpectedly lost friends, distant family and immediate family members. The impact of the pandemic has also meant that we have not been able to attend funerals or even visit loved ones in their time of greatest need. This has been very hard, as it goes against everything that we are, as caring, compassionate human beings, are accustomed to. And so, as we are hosting this short service today, to give ourselves an opportunity to reach out to each other, albeit virtually, in kindness, empathy, and care in our shared loss. Today is an opportunity to give words to our sorrow and witness to our grief by collectively remembering and celebrating those who touched our lives. There are some of those significant people who left a void, that empty chair at the family table and a deep heartfelt hurt. We mourn their absence. We asked you to forward the names of these special people so that we may honor them in this service and bear witness to each other's loss. You may wish to light a candle at this time or to do something that resonates with you and give thanks for those who have passed on, including those whose passing may not have been COVID-19 related. 
on behalf of our university, my sincerest condolences to each and everyone who has lost a loved one. My hope is for each one of us to find a way to move gently forward from the present pain and heartfelt loss to a place of solace and healing as we celebrate their lives with a moment of silence. I thank you.